Okay, so now this will be part two of the experiment. So now I have, let me show you what I've got here. So I've got the four um, tablespoons of glue in here. Let me get this, this is the fourth one. Let me get this out. So all we have in here is glue and now we're gonna add cornstarch to it to see if this makes a change in matter. So just regular old Elmer's glue. So now we're going to put two tablespoons of cornstarch in here. And let's see if that makes a change. One. Okay, now I have a clean fork. All right, so we're mixing it up. And let's see what kind of change is happening here. Hmm. It looks kind of fluffy, doesn't it? It looks very different. It doesn't look like glue. It almost looks like um, whipped cream or something. Let me feel it and see. Yeah, it's really soft, but it's still a little bit sticky. So I think we have seen a change here. All right, I think we've seen a, well, I don't know. Now that I'm stirring it up really good, kind of, I think the glue has absorbed. Yeah, okay. This is going through a lot of changes. So the glue has absorbed the um, cornstarch and it pretty much looks the same. It, just, it looks like glue. Okay, so we thought it was going to change, but then it didn't. Now, Let's find out what happens when we mix the glue with a borax and warm water mixture. Okay, let's get all these out of the way so you can see. Okay, yeah, and I've got glue all over my hands. Let's see, that's why I have a paper towel here, just for this purpose. Okay, so here we go. Oh, you know what, I'm supposed to add Got to add the food coloring to the glue first. Right, I'm gonna go back and look at my directions again. I always forget. Yes, cornstarch, glue, and food coloring. So I'm just gonna put a couple of drops. All right. And now, what kind of change is this? This is a physical change, right? Because it's the same substance, it's still glue, it's just a different color. And the glue with the cornstarch didn't make a change, not a permanent one. It started to look fluffy, but then when I got it all mixed in, it just looks like glue. Okay, now here's the fun part to see what happens when we put this glue and cornstarch mixture in the borax and water. So let's see what is going to happen in here. I know it's, it's very hard to mix it together because the glue is so sticky. Let's see. And I'm just gonna go ahead and forewarn you. I've done this before. I know I'm gonna have to get my hands in it and get even messier than I already am. Okay. Here we go. Watch closely. I'm mixing it in. I know it's almost like, what is happening? Look at that. Look at that. It's not even mixing all the way. It's like it's become something else. Hold on. Let me keep mixing and see what happens. What is going on here? Okay, 
I don't think this is glue anymore. <gasps> Look what I have. Look at, can you believe this used to be glue? <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like Silly Putty. Let's see. <gasps> wow. And look, it's not sticking, I mean, not sticking to my hands like glue should be sticking to my hands, right? Wow, look at that. So, what kind of change was this? Uh-oh, look, now it's sticking to my elbow. Oh my goodness. Okay, the matter has changed. It's not glue anymore. It's not cornstarch, it's not water, it's not borax. It's a new substance. It's, uh, I call it slime or <clears throat> silly putty. I'm gonna mix it in with a little bit more water to get it a lot less sticky. So this is a chemical change because the matter has permanently changed and cannot go back. It cannot go back to glue and it cannot go back to borax and it cannot go back to water or cornstarch. So, I hope you enjoyed this experiment and remember, if you want to do this at home, you need to ask an adult at home to help you. So, um, you can do that when you have an adult to help you. And now I'm going to sign off and I'm gonna play with my uh, silly putty, homemade silly putty slime. Okay, <laughs> thanks everybody, bye.